Hey guys, how you doing out there? This is Fat Guy Table Tennis. I'm your host, Chris Black. Let's get into it. Um, so today what I wanted to do is a short video on my review of the Butterfly Lesson Line Groovy Shoes that I've purchased and kind of how they benefited me and what my experience has been with them, etc. and the whole shoe buying process. But before uh, I get into that, as one of the goals of my channel is to actually provide updates on some of the progress that I'm making as far as my weight loss, fitness, and table tennis, I just wanted to give a brief update since I've made a couple of videos and haven't really talked about you know, how I've been doing. Well, as you may or may not recall, if you haven't, go watch the other videos. But when I started in February 2019 of this year, uh, I weighed in at 327 pounds. I am now, it's the end of July, 2019, and I am at 283 pounds. So we're talking about five or six month uh, time frame here, and I've lost a total of 44 pounds, and a lot of that has to do with my activity uh, around table tennis. Uh, I feel better as far as my game goes, um, <laughs> my table tennis game, really still need some work uh but i'm gonna keep doing that and i'm gonna keep trying to improve but what has gotten better or the, what i definitely have noticed is that the lighter i get and the more i move around the better my quality of movement has become i still have some rough days where if i've overworked so to speak or, or done too much, I don't move as good, but when I am on a regular schedule, so to speak, and um, I'm feeling good, my movement's pretty good. I've even had some people comment to me, uh, wow, I'm really surprised you were able to get to that you know, shot uh, across the table. Um, I, I'm getting a little bit quicker, but I got a long way to go. I realize I'm still a pretty big dude but it has gotten better. As far as my uh, diabetes goes, uh, I recently went to the doctor, uh, got some blood work done, and everything's looking real good there. All of my, uh, you know, my H1C, et cetera, my sugar and all that, they're all within normal ranges. They're all acceptable. In fact, uh, I'm actually considered pre-diabetic uh, at the moment. So I'm not out of the woods, but I'm getting better and I'm gonna continue to eat right, continue to exercise and continue to, just grind on table tennis as long as I can because I love it and I'm just that's what I want to do well that was interesting camera shut off for no apparent reason to get back to what I was starting to say before my camera so rudely interrupted me is uh, I wanted to go on and I've purchased the butterfly Lezo line uh, groovy shoes um, let me talk a little bit about my foot, why I decided to make this purchase, why I think it's a good idea, and then I'll talk about uh, this specific shoe. Uh, first of all, I wanted, uh, I have a very large foot. It's wide and it also has a high arch, which means on the top of the foot, you know, my foot comes up, and then of course it's wide this way as well. Finding shoes of any sort is difficult for me. So when I was at the club and I saw people wearing it and I was having some discomfort wearing running shoes, I was wearing a pair of Asics gel blah, something, I don't remember. Uh, the lateral movement that's involved in table tennis, uh, running shoes are meant to go forward, right? Uh, that's what they do, the impact uh, of your foot, you know, whatever this is, but it's cool. Uh, table tennis shoes are designed for the lateral movement and quick movements uh, that you have in, support, in the sport. And I do believe, because I can tell you I, I've now experienced kind of both sides of it, um, I believe it helps from some of the aches and pains, especially me being a bigger person, but I'm sure you know uh, more fit people uh, experience as well. But when you're moving those lateral movements you know, and hitting those shots, um, I, I, I had a little bit of pain in my knees when I was wearing running shoes, a little bit of, uh, of, of wear on the ankles. But now that I've gone to, um, you know, table tennis shoes, uh, I'm not really spending it because they're designed for that lateral movement. They're designed for quick, uh, you know, pacing back and forth. Uh, they're grippy, but they're not so grippy so much that, you know, you're just snapping your leg in half when you, you stop on a dime. 
but there's a little bit of slippage but overall it, it's much better just in, in that aspect alone having a specialized pair of shoes for table tennis has really helped me out now it only really helps out on if you're playing on uh, you know certain kind of flooring for concrete for example I'm never gonna wear my shoes on concrete I want them to last and the the gummy soles that most table tennis shoes come with um, concrete is just gonna tear that up but if you're talking about that uh, the rubber flooring or TerraFlex uh, flooring that a lot of the that you see in the major events uh, and stuff that they're playing on and a lot of the bigger clubs have it, it, it's outstanding uh, also on uh, you know wooden or laminate type flooring you know like gym flooring uh, it works real good there but I don't wear these here in the uh, fat guy table tennis arena of power if you will uh, my garage because it has concrete floor and I also don't wear them when I go out to uh, Spring, Texas to play because that's in the gymnasium. We actually play on the exercise floor and it's carpeted. Uh, you know, again, the, the, it doesn't really benefit me one way or the other. I could wear them out there, but, you know, uh, I, I just don't. When I was out there searching for these shoes, uh, the first ones I actually looked at that I really wanted to try out were Mizuno. Uh, I think they're Wave 7s. Uh, I saw a lot of people wearing Mizunos uh, out at the club, and I have some experience uh, playing competitive softball, you know, a, a while ago, uh, back in my 30s, uh, up to my 40s, that I wore Mizuno, you know, baseball shoes. They were very comfortable. I loved uh, the way they, the fit and feel on them. Uh, I th thought they were perfectly designed for the sport, so I was really interested in them. Let me tell you why I didn't go through with that. The Mizuno table tennis shoes were only available overseas. Uh, I had to order them offline. They had to come in from overseas. And because I was convinced that my big, tall foot wasn't going to fit these shoes the way I hoped, because I always have trouble with that, and I didn't want to go through the process of having to order shoes, you know, go through customs, get here, try them on, find out they didn't fit, try to get them back overseas. You know, that just seemed like, in my head, that seemed like such a beating. Um, you know, I really wish some of these vendors would offer the merch. I mean, Mizuno has a presence in the United States. Why is it really so tough to keep some inventory somewhere of some table tennis shoes? I mean, come on, guys. But that's really what prevented it to me because that would have been my first choice. But I didn't have that. I, well, I had it, but I didn't want to take it. So then I started looking at some of the other brands. I looked at Stiga and Jula uh, most of all. I, I, I have Stiga products. My table is Stiga. Uh, the first blade I bought was the, um, the classic all-around, you know, five-ply. Um, and I, and I love that paddle. Uh, but uh, looking at their shoes, from a quality perspective, they didn't look that great. And they looked small, if that makes any sense. And the same thing with Jula. I have nothing against Jula products. Uh, I have a few Jula products. Uh, but they, again, just looked small. They And they didn't look of high quality. So that's when I started to looking at uh, Butterfly. They had a wide range of shoes. All of which, even though the lower end uh, looked like they had good quality, and more importantly, I could order them off of Amazon. <laughs> I'm a Prime member, so getting that inventory in and out, even if I had problems with it, didn't really seem like that big of a deal. So I looked at the Butterfly line of shoes, and what I saw was, um, you know, just looking at the different ones, these, just looking at them, looked kind of like they might fit my gigantic. Bigfoot foot, uh, if you were. I'm very much Sasquatch in this arena. So it, it just kind of looked like the, the housing here would, would fit my, my foot well. Shut off again. So I looked at the, the, you know, the different lines. Uh, I liked the box shape here where my foot was going to go. Uh, Butterfly does have a, a, a higher level of shoe. Uh, I think they're called the Rafones, the uh, Lezaline Rafones, or their top end. These are right below it, but again, I liked the width. It was very appealing to me. 
Um, so I tried them out. Now I did follow a butterfly sizing guide and my foot is really about a 10 and a half, 11, uh, depending on the shoe. Um, and they recommended for a wide foot or even higher arch to, to go up a size and that's what I did. So I got, I ordered the 12, which is the top range of um, sizes that I saw available online. Maybe you can get, you know, bigger sizes if you custom order them. Uh, for example, my son, six foot four, where's a size 13? He might be out of luck, but, so 12 is the highest they go and that's what I needed. So I went ahead and ordered these bad boys. So let's talk about fit for my wide, high arched uh, foot. Perfect like a glove so to speak it was really nice um my foot went right in and i tell you even like some of the shoes even when they come in wide because of my arch like when it gets up here to this part if you will it, it's it's stretched out or the tongue's way up here um i'm not i don't have that issue uh with these shoes um you know they they just fit beautifully and you know this is a little thing but one thing i really loved about it is because again of my high arch and stuff sometimes the laces aren't long enough by default with the shoes that i buy but these are are, are nice and long and there's plenty to tie i could double knot if i want to and i don't have just the little ends sticking out there so that was a huge bonus uh i really liked them they fit honestly perfectly uh, let's talk about comfort now. Uh, comfort wise, again, so much lateral movement in table, table tennis. Um, and where I was wearing my Asics before, the running shoes, my feet would get fatigued. They would get sore. Um, and I definitely felt the stress on the outsides of my foot because, again, because of my weight, my feet also do tend to push out, right? The way I stand. This is a cool move. Um, but I'm not really, ha I don't have that issue with these. I play for several hours at a time um, at a high intensity level, at least high and intensive for me. Um, and at the end of the night, my feet feel really good. I, I, I have no problems. The, I, would, I would venture to say these are by far the most comfortable shoes I own. Uh, as far as the activity I'm doing, etc., um, my feet just don't feel fatigued in these. They've, it's really, really comfortable. I think if you have a, a, a wide foot or you know high arch or a combination of both, or you're a heavier set player, man, I would check these out. These, I'm really, really, really impressed um, with with that. Now let's talk about the quality of them. Like I said, I've had these a couple months and I've worn them a lot. I play a lot. Um, they still almost look brand new. I mean, the soles are good, a little bit of dirt in there, uh, but nothing there. Now, one thing is these, you'll notice they don't have a mesh portion to the shoes. They, they, they closed that off and they did this in this edition. And um, there's, there's a great thing about that. And then there's a, a not so great thing. The great thing is um, I expect these are going to last a while. Uh, even with the flex and the bending uh, that I do with my feet and, and the side-to-side -side movement, man, they just hold up. There, there's no slippage, no nothing. The bad part, because they don't have the mesh, uh, where my mesh would normally blow out, the one thing it does do is it ventilates your foot a little bit. Um, it helps. Now, I, I'm not going to say, uh, you know, buckets of sweat are, are forming in, in my foot. There is some ventilation here, and, and that seems to be okay. But the smell, you might want to throw some baking powder or have some foot spray in here just to take care of that. You know, the hot, sweaty, disgusting smell that sneakers can sometimes develop. Uh, these have, even though I'm only wearing them when I play, you know, table tennis. Um, but I expect these to, to last a long time. They're available in a bunch of different colors. Uh, I got the black ones. Now, as you can see, they're really, you know, black and gold. Uh, but they have navy. It's kind of a navy and silver. They have a, just a, a pink one. They have one that's like pink and blue. They have a white one uh, that's pretty good. And I will say, I wish they had more you know just neutral colors like i've seen a black and silver that looks more just normal but you know it's flashy they're pretty cool they don't go with all of my 
outfits, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, that's okay. I'm not that worried about that. Uh, but some people are. Some people are concerned about the look, so you may, you know, get some to match um, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, let's talk about the cost. Uh, the cost, I wouldn't put this on the lower end of, of the spectrum. The cost for me was around 100 uh, US dollars. Um, the Stiga and Jula's I could have got, uh, even the Mizuno's, I could have got at probably a better price point, but uh, they're not as much as the upper end um, Rafones. Again, the Butterfly offers which were around $160 if I remember correctly. But a hundred bucks for a pair of shoes that I expect to last. I mean, let's be honest here. If they're a good quality shoe, uh, if I was buying, you know, cheaper shoes and I got a better price on them, but they were blowing out, they weren't comfortable, and they hurt my feet. I think hundred bucks is not unreasonable here in the U.S. I mean, the the major brands, Asics, Nike, Adidas, uh, New Balance, wh whatever your your flavor of the month is, hundred bucks is 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 right there when you're talking about tennis shoes. So. I thought it was a fair price. I expect these to last. I'm gonna get another pair. I want the blue and silvers, and it's not because I'm worried about the color, but as much as I'm worried about um, they might decide to stop making these and they, they fit so good, I wanna make sure I have a spare pair. So uh, I, I think I'm gonna do it, but again, I think Butterfly has done a really good job with these shoes. I would still at some point like to, to try uh, the Mizunos and now that I have a pair that I can wear, I may go out and go ahead and order those and, and just try them on. So I, I, you know, I don't feel like I'm waiting too long if I have to return them or exchange them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Don't forget to go out there and you know s subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Smash that like button. Like, what? like button and for fat guy table tennis this is chris black later